welcome to Info Simcoe. My name is Madison Fitzpatrick and joining us in studio today, we have Mary from Stevenson Memorial Hospital Foundation. Hi Mary, how are you? I'm great, thanks for having me. <laughs> no, thank you for being here. So for the audience who doesn't know, tell us a little bit about what the foundation is and what you do there. So I'm the CEO of the foundation and the foundation is an organization that clearly just is there to support the hospital and raise money from the community for equipment in the hospital and in the case of Stevenson for the redevelopment. Okay, and how important it is, is it to have fundraisers and community events to help support the, the funds for the, the hospital? It's absolutely critical. Um, a lot of people don't understand that uh, the government doesn't pay for all the equipment in the hospital and they pay for a portion of the redevelopment, but there's a local share to the redevelopment, which is a part of the uh, Because of You We Can campaign that we're running right now. And inside of that is the money for the redevelopment as well as the annual capital needs. So if the hospital requires a new x-ray machine or stretchers or hospital beds, all of that is paid for by the community through donations from either individuals, corporations, or grants. Okay, and so because um, that influx of, of donations is so dire, do you have uh, events often throughout the year? We try to have as many third party events as possible to, and that's to engage the community as well and make sure that they understand what the hospital is going through and what's going on. And there's also, um, there hasn't been a lot of activity obviously because of COVID, there's restrictions and we have to be very thoughtful of that. But we're hoping as we come out of that, that we'll be able to have more community engagement. And one of the examples of that is it's an online auction, so there's no face-to-face -face required, but it is a new event for the foundation. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about that. Um, what's, what's up for auction? Yeah, <laughs> so it's called Streets for Stevenson, and uh, Town of New Tech was kind enough to allow Stevenson to acquire three street naming opportunities in Beaton, Tottenham, and Alliston. And it's an online auction, and you bid, and the highest bidder will get the opportunity to name a street. Oh, wow. So are there any um, rules or restrictions for naming these streets? Absolutely. <laughs> um, on our website and on the platform trellis that we have the auction on, there you can look at the policy from the uh, town of New Tech that outlines what you can do and what you can't do because of course it'll have to be approved by the town right so but somebody is. could really bid on this and have their name possibly as a street i think it's a it's a marvelous opportunity to honor your family honor somebody you love or somebody you know within even yourself <laughs> if you're interested absolutely so how can uh people a bit on, on these street names? So there's two ways to go about it. You could just simply Google Streets for Stevenson and the Trellis website will pop up and it'll say Streets for Stevenson or you can go to the transformingstevenson.ca site. That's our foundation site and go to our events page and there's all the information there that you need to go ahead. And how long does this auction go till? The auction it will be live until March 3rd. So the highest bids at the end of day midnight on March 3rd will be the winner of the streets. So I believe it started January 20th, Correct. right? So it's on right now. Yes. People can go anytime, yep. go online and bid. Yep. Yeah, and you can actually set up a bid and say, this is the maximum that I'm willing to spend. So that way you don't have to constantly be looking at the site, although I think some people are very engaged and that's what they're doing. They're looking regularly. I think, I think any auction, everybody's always running back and you yeah. know, seeing the page, seeing, like, yeah. did anybody outbid me? Yeah. But no, that's a great initiative. And um, has has really since the pandemic, is is this something that you really are looking forward to for the foundation to, to help boost, um, you know, funding since the pandemic? Absolutely. I think it's a very, a very difficult market these days with inflation people are dealing with and the markets aren't doing well. So our fundraising is down somewhat. So we're just looking at any way we can to bring as much money into the foundation to support the hospital. And this is one of the ways we're doing it. Again, I mentioned earlier, we have third party events, which can be a lot of fun. So you can look at our website to find out what is going on that way locally in the new tech uh, community. And of course, there's there's always an opportunity to call the foundation anytime. We're more than happy to talk to anybody who might be interested. In the new development, there are naming opportunities for some larger donors if people are interested in that as well. Right. So um, besides everything that you just mentioned, is there any other way that uh, community members can get involved in the foundation? Is there volunteering opportunities? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have what's referred to as a campaign cabinet, and those are people from the community that are helping the hospital with the fundraising efforts. So we, we meet monthly and we discuss networking 
like who do you know in the community and different ways that we can go about raising funds for the hospital. So Great. Mm -hmm. So um, you were talking about earlier how the hospital is different than the foundation. Mm -hmm. um, do, do you guys ever work together um, or do any campaigns together um, within the hospital or anything like that? Well, we are actually. Um, so our foundation office is in the hospital, so we work very, very closely with the hospital. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful place, and the staff is absolutely amazing. I just have to shout out to them. And what we are doing actually starting next month is what they call a family campaign. So that's just engaging every all the staff and all, all the people closest to the, the hospital and the foundation. So our boards and we're working together to raise money for the Because of You Weekend campaign. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and obviously, um, you know, since the pandemic, everybody's um, healthcare has been of sound in mind during this, this whole um, tragedy uh, around the globe, but uh, have you really seen an, an uptick in, in support since then? Uh, initially, absolutely, because everybody realized how serious COVID was. So people were very supportive, whether it was uh, personal protective equipment that was being purchased or, you know, funds to support the COVID efforts. And the community really came through. It's an, an amazing community that we have and they're very, very supportive of the hospital. And that's kind of tapered off a little bit. And again, everybody's dealing with the inflation. So mm -hmm. we're just, we, we continue to go and ask for funds to support the hospital because the needs are still there. We want to provide quality health care mm -hmm. close to home. And that means making sure that all our health care providers have the equipment that they need to take care of everyone in the community. Perfect. So um, as our time wraps up here, Mary, just one more time, you want to let everybody know where they can um, purchase tickets for the auction and just get involved with the foundation as well. Absolutely. If you're interested in uh, the uh, Streets for Stevenson specifically, you can just Google Streets for Stevenson and we'll, it's on a trellis platform or you can visit our website at transformingstevenson.ca and everything you want to know about the foundation is there. Certainly my contact information is there and I'm willing to talk to anyone anytime. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, make sure you get your auction tickets before March 3rd. Stay tuned for more Info Cinco.